in this session we are going to show you how to deal a report based on the time period so in our daily business requirement we need to capture what is the what is going on on the sales based on the years and quarter within that year and month within that quarter so we need to capture we want to visualize the data uh, on the chart also so in this uh, session we are going to show you how to deal a report based on the time period so basically bar chart or column charts column chart are very good resources to deal a report based on the time period but uh, in this session we are going to use a donor charts uh, basically donor charts are using to show your data uh, within a category for all the series but uh, in this session we are going to use a donor chart to till down from years to quarter quarters to period uh, months so in this way we have three level nil down reports so based on this requirement Now in, in this data set you can see where we have order date, items, custom number, quantities, sales case, region and sales persons. So it is the common data set for a sales. Now we, we are going to create a, another query to summarize these sales on yearly, quarterly and monthly basis. So in this data set you can see that we are fetching years, quarters, sales month and quantity and sales case so just copy this query from here and in the report builder go to the report data and we need to add a data set over here now you can see we have already blank report uh, and the head of this report is drill down donut chart report so first of all in design mode we need to add a data set so we need to create a data set over here yeah just rename the data set as ds sales summary okay so we are using embedded data set that's why we are using embedded data source and just paste our query over here now click on ok button now you can see we have the data set like this so if we are going to now we have the data set we have a report now we want to add add a chart over here so in this chart section just choose uh yeah we are using donut chart over here okay click on ok button now we have the donut chart in our report now you can see uh, we have the uh, donut chart in the donut chart property we need to set a data set over here so we choose the data set as ds sales okay now this is the, our report now in this legend section just choose a value as a sales case and a category section we need to choose as a uh, <coughs> sales year okay now preview of the report now you can see that we have the legend with sales years now what we are going to do here we are going to legend properties in the legend property we are going to use it okay now that is our first level report over here now we are going to deal our report to the second level i mean to say to the quarters for a year
second level 2004 like add parameter so first is IER and we are going to use a default value as a 0 ok same for we need to add another parameter for the second level parameter that is quarter i quarter so tr and ok and default value could be 0 now you can see we have added two parameters in our report ok so first of all what we need to do here in we are going to dataset ts cell summary so in dataset property we have what we need to do here we have to use a where clause where i er ok now what we are going to see, uh, tell the SQL server if year equal to 0 that means all the years should be displayed or if i year sorry if parameter i year or i year or year equal to years excel years that is the name of the column sales year equal to at the rate i years same we add using another parameter and at the rate i q t r that is our second parameter if it is zero that means we need to display all the parameters within that year Sales quarter turn equal to and I Q T T R. Now you can see we have added two parameters in our report and modify the data set for the report. Okay. Now just preview the report. Now you can see we have the parameters of the report. Now we, what we need to do here uh, to better understanding we are going to add a so data labels and change the color as a 8 ppt bold and font color should be white ok and one more thing in this is properties it should be number should be currency without any decimal ok now just preview of the report now you can see uh, we have the sales for particular years with different colors now we need to go second level of the reports that means in the just click on the series year series and go to the series properties and in the action section go to the report and choose the same report what is the name of the drill down and add the parameter as a i year equal to sales year okay And another parameter should be i quarter equal to sales quarter. Okay. Now just preview of the report. Now we have set the second parameter. Now just drill. Now you can see we are getting uh, total sales for this quarter. So there are some changes to the 
chart now we are just going to the third level of report j so in to avoid this situation what we need to do here we need to add a uh, we need to add a controller so for this controller controller we are using a text box and rename this text box as a txt levels okay so in this we are setting some uh, based on the parameters we are saying if our report parameter i i year equal to zero that means its value should be zero otherwise if we are saying if our i parameter value is not equal to zero means we have selected any value on the chart then i quarter and and we are saying i quarter value equal to zero then we are saying that this is the second level of the report otherwise it should be the third level of the report so you need to take care of this setting in this chart report to maintain n numbers of drill downs now preview of the report now you can see when we there, there is a zero value for that text box over here and if i am going to click this it directly goes to the third level so we are missing the second level of the reports so we need to handle this situation also here now in this section what we are going to do there see uh, in the series property in the action we need to set the i quarter value over here for the for this parameter we are using our text level first so report report items report item so our dot dot value equal to zero so in this case our quarter should be zero now what now we now we are saying that if our text parameter value equal to one or two then our value should be select from the series okay it's fine now just close this okay now we have done all the necessary settings to tell our donor charts just preview preview of this report now you can see we are on the quarters now that is one now in this sales now there is a sales so i think we need to do year 2017 that quarter should be this so what we are going to do our legends are not working properly so we need to set the legends also over here so in the legend properties what we are going to do here uh, we need to capture the get category groups over here so in this section go to the category group properties now uh, what we need to do here for the labels we are using the same parameters same text labels over here and if we are what we are going to say say here if report item text labels dot value equal to 0 then it should be sales year now what we are going to say uh, say to the report server that to manage the category groups so we need to use this settings 
in this series properties so in this section what we are going to do here uh, we instead of using this text box we are using parameters so if i quarter equal to uh, 0 that means this is the top level of the reports then we need to pass the sales here as a category group if now we are saying if our we have selected parameters years from the parameter i years not equal to 0 that means we have selected any values for the year on the chart and saying parameter i quarter value equal to 0 then we need to pass quarter otherwise we need to pass sales month so now you can see we have all the values we have done the, done the necessary setting for the levels okay just copy this value from here and go to the group expression also just paste these settings here click on ok button now you can see we have changed the labels and group expressions both have the same uh, settings just preview the report now you can see we have the top levels years then in this year we have uh, quarters and this quarter we have the months so first of all uh, we have many the three levels of drill down for the sales period hierarchy so first of all what we need to do here we need to go to the text box properties and in visibility say hide okay these are the additional settings in this legend we need to show the legend title for this legend titles go to the legend properties and uh, for the font legend title we are using the same thing over here if parameters values i is equal to 0 that means we are going to say that is years okay if our parameter i is not equal to year 0 or parameter i quarter equal to 0 that is second level of the report so we are saying this should be quarters okay otherwise we are saying it should be months now you can see we have changed the, add the legend titles okay and color should be black and for the font it should be bold bold just preview of the report now just click off this that means these are the quarters and these are the months so there are something is also missing so first of all we need to change the titles over here chart titles so just click in the expressions and go to the chart properties and paste the same setting over here now we are saying that is overall yearly summary okay if then in this case what we are showing year uh, then plus now we are using data set or parameters i got a value uh, parameter would be fine dot value we need to convert it to into the 
connection into the string so convert dot to string okay same here that is sincere here okay yearly sales summary so same here what we are going to do here we are using sales year so what we are going to do here we are choosing this from here and saying like this sales year this and plus plus sales quarter fourth quarter Uh, for quarter that means what we are going to do here convert this values plus convert go to string string and choose the parameters yeah so you can see now what we are going to do here we have changed the report chart titles also over here now click on ok button and it should be on center and change the font as a 12 and it should be bold and color should be maroon ok uh, just preview of the report Now you can see this is the overall yearly sales summary. Now click on this year. In this year, these are the quarterly sales. Then click any quarter. Now these are the monthly sales. So we need to add a alternate text on the internet chart. So this we need to do some additional set setting over here. So go to the DN mode. First of all, we need to hide the parameters so in the parameter sections it should uh, i year should be hidden same for i quarter it should be hidden ok now preview of the report now you can see all the parameters have been gone from the report and you can see these are the year these are then this is the quarter four and this is the monthly sales so you can see it is very easy to generate a drill down period wise chart report in ssrs hopefully hopefully you like this video uh, over here and if you want to add some more uh, elder some more things in your report just click you can do like this over here we have another report in this report you can see what what I, I have done over here for the alternate text you can see that in the in this report sees properties in tooltip sections we have added this thing over here it is very easy to the report we are using the same setting over here and just preview of this report again now you can see this report over here just now you can see yearly information on the quarterly information you can see that year quarter and total sales same over here and if you are going to choose any quarter then you can see all these values with all sections please subscribe our channel on youtube